An essential requirement for operating and maintaining a reliable, robust, and safe electric grid is teleprotection. It involves relays that communicate with each other over a communication network to determine the presence of faults and trip the breakers to protect the grid and contain the impact of the fault to a localized region. Teleprotection is the most stringent application that can be transported over utility communication networks due to its very low delay requirements and the resulting impacts of a failure such as electricity outages or potential equipment damage, both generating huge costs and associated liability. Teleprotection relays rely on a stable, symmetric, constant delay communication network for providing a communication channel between them. Traditional communication networking utilizes TDM transmission architectures based on PDH Sonnet SDH to provide the communication channel between relays. Today's teleprotection applications are typically developed using a total fault clearing time of 5 to 7 electricity cycles. The fault inception and fault resolution delay take between 1 and 3 to 5 cycles respectively. This leaves one cycle, 16.6 milliseconds in a 60 Hz grid or 20 milliseconds in a 50 Hz grid for total end-to-end -end delay comprised of teleprotection or TPR equipment delay and communication network delay. This typically leaves approximately 10 milliseconds for an acceptable total communication network delay. With the advent of IP and Ethernet devices in the power systems, many utilities are migrating their communication networks to IP MPLS networks in order to support next-generation interfaces and to achieve a converged network infrastructure for existing, new, as well as smart grid applications. From a communication requirement for teleprotection standpoint, it is necessary to continue providing the connectivity between relays with a high quality of service, quantified by limits on delay, delay variation, and asymmetry. An IP MPLS network can meet these as well as other key requirements such as reliability, flexibility, manageability, and maintainability. A major concern for utilities is whether the IP MPLS network can meet the strict latency requirements for protection signals between transmission substations. Unlike traditional best effort connectionless IP technology, IP MPLS is connection oriented and capable of guaranteeing low latency service. Sonnet SDH networks can be provisioned to provide alternate routes for mission critical traffic. When operating correctly, the network provides less than 50 milliseconds switchover time. IP MPLS networks support alternate paths and fast reroute with sub 50 milliseconds switchover time. Furthermore, the Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS network supports teleprotection with many features. IP MPLS networks utilize label switched paths to ensure that all packets associated with a particular service, such as teleprotection, follow the same path. The packets associated with teleprotection communication are assigned a high priority to guarantee the criticality of teleprotection is met. The Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS network supports many synchronization options to ensure that the network is properly synchronized. The routers can provide a good reference clock to the relays that are connected using serial interfaces. New generation Ethernet relays can be synchronized using synchronous Ethernet and IEEE 1588v2 Precision Time Protocol, or PTP. Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS routers natively support commonly used teleprotection interfaces, including ENM, RS-232, X-21, G703, C3794, and Ethernet. These integrated interfaces eliminate the need for a channel bank and the additional latency that is added.
The Alcatel Lucent 5620 Service Aware Manager and Service Portal Express for Utilities allow utilities to easily provision the paths for desired latency as well as guaranteeing path symmetry. The 5620 SAM management portfolio also allows for testing, monitoring, and reporting of network performance. It includes the following specific features. Predefined profiles for provisioning teleprotection and other utility services. Simplified troubleshooting with real-time and historical control plane information on an interactive graphical display latency monitoring and alarming to proactively test and alarm on conditions where the teleprotection parameters are not met, and easy creation of performance reports. The Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS network supports traditional relays using circuit emulation service. For an IP MPLS network, the communication network latency for TDM traffic over IP MPLS consists of packetization delay, network transport delay, and jitter buffer depacketization delay. Packetization delay relates to the process of transforming TDM traffic into packet data. Network delay relates to the fixed delay based on physical link speed and distances involved and a variable delay depending on the number of nodes traversed. Jitter buffer and depacketization delay relates to the time required for a data packet to move out of the jitter buffer and to get depacketized into a TDM stream connecting to the teleprotection relays. New generation relays utilize Ethernet interfaces. Point-to-point -point relay communication can be supported with an Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS network using Ethernet Virtual Leased Line or VLL service. Multipoint communication such as IEC 61850 Goose messaging can be supported using Virtual Private LAN service or VPLS. Alcatel Lucent commissioned IOMetrics, an industry-leading network testing authority, to test and validate the ability of the Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS-based 7705 SAR and 7750 SR products to support teleprotection. The testing was performed using Toshiba current differential relays available in both X21 interface and Ethernet interface respectively, allowing the verification for both traditional and new generation teleprotection relays. Based on a comprehensive battery of tests, it was concluded that a network comprised of Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS routers will comply with all the requirements of teleprotection with substantial margin. The IP MPLS network performed well within the requirements of the teleprotection application that has, to this point, only been supported by TDM networks. Alcatel Lucent and third-party laboratories have also conducted testing sponsored by utilities or relay manufacturers and evaluated teleprotection equipment from ABB, Alstom Grid, Siemens, ZIV Dimat, GE, and SEL connected to Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS communications equipment. These tests again demonstrated that low end-to-end -end delay could be achieved, that failover capabilities met sub-50 millisecond standard for traffic rerouting, and that control of the bandwidth required per application was achieved with an Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS network. The capability of Alcatel Lucent IP MPLS networks to support teleprotection is not only proven in the lab, it is proven in the field. For example, Altalink, a transmission operator in Alberta, Canada with 11,800 kilometers of lines and 300 substations, has successfully operated a converged IP MPLS network in a production environment 
since September 2010, supporting teleprotection, utility SCADA, and other operational voice and data traffic. The value proposition that we gain out of our partnership uh, with Alcatel-Lucen uh, is certainly one that uh, we look at as, as being very important to us as a mission critical in, uh, industry or infrastructure operator. Um, we certainly value the uh, partnership insofar as Alcatel being with us and supporting us through our build, um, helping us along the way as we make this migration into an IPMPLS and, and pack a type of infrastructure. Um, it is much more of a, of a partnership in the sense that it's not a, a vendor customer, uh, here's the equipment, good luck with it. Um, relationship that, that it, along with supplying the equipment we also have the professional services uh, to help us and make sure that our solution works for our requirements. We're also uh, connected to Alcatel uh, to the back-end engineering and R&D folks. Um, we have routine conversations with the, uh, the engineers that are actually building the equipment uh, to help uh, make sure that the technology fits with our requirements and so we, we certainly value that, uh, that relationship and that open uh, communication with Alcatel. Uh, we certainly don't have that with uh, many other vendors, and uh, we think it's a it's a it's a it's a very uh, high value uh, position, I guess you could say, for us. One other aspect of Alcatel Lucent that certainly as a as a mission critical utility uh, that we value is is the depth of the product portfolio that Alcatel Lucent brings to the industry. We certainly see that as as a differentiator, and that Alcatel Lucent is quite unique in that they have offerings in in all layers of the network. Uh, where we have need. So whether it's from the fiber and the transport layer, microwave radio, uh, right through the IPMPLS and the switching layers, the security architectures, the access layers, um, there's solutions that are available from Alcatel for the whole breadth of, of our requirement. And certainly that's uh, something that we don't see from, uh, from the other vendors. IPMPLS is the technology of choice for utilities implementing converged smart grid communications networks. Choosing Alcatel Lucent IPMPLS products, utilities can implement a utility grade communications network that supports the flexibility and scalability of IP while maintaining the reliability and predictability of traditional TDM mission critical networks. An Alcatel-Lucent IP-MPLS network supports the most critical and latency-sensitive utility application, teleprotection. This converged network simultaneously provides highly secure, reliable, and manageable VPN communication services for multiple applications. The Alcatel-Lucent IP-MPLS solution has been recognized by the utility industry as Best Telecom Product and Smart Grid Product of the Year.